With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Here we go. Here we go. play from scrimmage it's second down that's called setting the tone right away it certainly is and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line they talk about it all the time knowing each other's moves you've got to be coordinated and in sync otherwise your quarterback gets hit there's a ball thrown right side and complete one thing we do know he's going to get his catches so as they move forward defensively Got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Got a man, it's Randy Moss. And they're going to have this way down deep in Denver territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, that didn't take very long. You mentioned... You have to keep him under wraps. Avoid the big play is what you said, and here he makes one of the first. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Benatari connecting on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. And here's been a Terry now to kick it away after the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. First carry for the legend, it's Bo Jackson. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you... In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the former Bronco, Brian Dawkins. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 45-45-45-45. So here's Vic following the interception. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. Terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's the Hall of Famer, Lawrence Taylor, doing what he does best. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Vic to throw it. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Bruce Smith brings the heat, gets the sack. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. 
Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Vic readies to throw, buying time to his left. He's going to run. Now Vic's stripped. He lost the football, and the Eagles have recovered. So he had gained really good yardage, but that's what you tell your quarterbacks, right? Get down after you've got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage, get down, protect the football, and protect your... Michael Vick, he's going to go. Touchdown, Philadelphia. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Now the elder statesman of the NFL, Adam Vinatieri, set to get us started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. They'll run on first down. Peyton. And this will be a pickup of four here, up to their own 20. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. That's caught. It's Jerry Rice. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, Vic. That'll be caught by Rice. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down, Titans gain of 12. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Here's Sanders. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Two. 
Now a give, right side. Payton. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Brings up second and four at the Eagles' 35-yard line. The last run got six, now second and four. Now Saquon Barkley. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. And to give this time to the tailback. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Right back to him on first down. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Dancing to his left. Now he'll pull it down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. On first down, Sanders. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. We're scoreless after one. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Flushed out right. He'll run it, and he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Titans take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Touchdown, Fel 